While everyone was obsessed with the moon landing in 1969, the Soviet Union was quietly plotting something far more audacious, a mission to Mars that would make Apollo 11 look like a neighborhood joyride. The space race wasn't just about planting flags on lunar soil, it was about who could conquer the ultimate prize, the Red Planet. Behind the Iron Curtain, Soviet engineers were designing spacecraft that could travel 140 million miles through the cosmic void, endure radiation storms, and attempt humanity's first landing on another world. This wasn't science fiction, this was Cold War reality. While Neil Armstrong was taking his famous first steps, Soviet mission planners were already calculating launch windows to Mars, designing heat shields that could survive atmospheric entry at 12,000 miles per hour, and developing communication systems that could beam signals across interplanetary distances. The Soviet space program had already shocked the world with Sputnik in 1957, and Yuri Gagarin's historic flight in 1961, but their Mars ambitions were on an entirely different scale. These weren't just orbital missions or lunar flybys, they were attempting to land functional spacecraft on a planet where temperatures swing from 70 degrees Fahrenheit to minus 195 degrees Fahrenheit, where dust storms can rage for months, and where one miscalculation means losing everything in the dark expanse of space. What happened next would change everything we thought we knew about the space race, and most of the world never even heard about it.